This question has two parts, and we're going to focus just on the second part right here. We want to find the domain of g of x equals negative 2 times square root negative 7x minus 15. There's two rules you need to remember for domain. One of them is do not divide by 0. That's not happening here. There's no division. The other one is no negative square roots. And a good way to think about that is make sure your square root is zero or more. And what I just underlined with a squiggle is what the input of the square root is. So we need to make sure that what I underlined is greater than, greater than or equal to zero. So I'm just setting it. Negative seven minus 15 is greater than or equal to zero. We're solving for x. <clears throat> So on this, it's probably easiest to add 7x to both sides. And remember, addition, subtraction never flips your inequality. So if I add 7x to both sides, we have this. And then I need to get the 7 away from the x here. So it's 7 times x. So we multiply by 1 7th. You could also divide by 7. It's the same thing. You do need to be careful with addition and multiplication. If you multiply or divide by a negative value, you would flip your inequality sign. So the inequality would turn backwards. We are multiplying by positive 1 7th, so that is not flipping the inequality sign. So negative 15 divided by 7 is negative 15 sevenths. You could turn this into a decimal, but there's no reason to do that. These are the good x's, because we made sure our square root was positive. Negative 15 sevenths is here. And x needs to be less than negative 15 sevenths. So that's to the left. It's OK to equal. So you're going to use square brackets. And we're going negative infinity, comma, negative 15 sevenths, just like that. And we'll scroll back up and see what is under here, negative infinity to negative 15 sevenths. You could do the first part the exact same way. And all you would do on that is you would just put the 3x plus 18 right here, and then solve for x. And I'd probably start by subtracting 18 on both sides, and then multiplying by 1 3rd.